So have you ever found yourself in, in the bottom of a double stack pass where someone's putting a lot of pressure on you and eventually they pass, right? Boom. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna show you a couple defenses from that position using my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna start first with an early escape. So when I, when the person gets under me, I know they're going for a double, double underpass of some variation, right? There's a lot of different ways to do this. And when they do this, as they get going, I'm gonna pick a side and I wanna do this early. So I'm gonna start by getting a grip here on the wrist or the sleeve. If it's in the gi, I will use the sleeve. If it's no gi, I will grab the wrist. They work both pretty well um, when you're doing it. Now, what I'm gonna do is instead of waiting for him to get me all stacked up and everything else, I recognize here at this point, he's under my leg. So his hands were on the inside for a second. Go bring your hands on the inside. He, I was doing something, he got underneath, boom. I recognize he's now underneath. So I'm gonna pick the sleeve here. As he begins to work his hands together, even get a, getting a stack up, I'm gonna take this leg and throw it off. I'm holding onto the sleeve or the wrist. Either way, gear, no gi, doesn't matter. Again, for you guys that watch the channel, pretty much anything that I do, I always have a no gi option for it. I'm not really a gi specific player. I like, I like them both, but I always like to make sure that I can do it something in no gi. So when I'm here, I'm locking the wrist out. This is super important. A lot of people don't think about this, but when we lock our arm out, we're super strong. You can think about it this way. If you do a bench press, and you have the weight locked, you can actually hold a fair amount of weight way more than you can once you're actually moving. Same thing with a squat. The minute we're, we have a bend in our arms, we get a little weaker, we're using muscle, and again, the frame's not as strong. So when I'm holding this here, if Adam tries to drive into me, go ahead, with that straight arm, it's super powerful. Now, if he pulls his arm away, which would work, that's okay because that gets me back in front of him. But if there's even a slight bend in the arm, go ahead and fight that through. It's very tough for me to stop that. So make sure that the key, when you do this movement, so he gets that stack underneath, I pick my grip here. As he throws, I kick here and get up to this hand here and pushing this arm out, it's locked. Now, key over here, you either wanna be on your hand on your elbow. I don't wanna be flat here because again, now my hip doesn't have a lot of space to move because what I wanna do with this movement, whether I'm on my elbow or my hand, is I wanna scoot my hips back so I can get my legs back in front, right? It's a very simple movement, but again, it's all about doing it early. So he gets underneath here, goes underneath, boom. He starts to get the grips here, he starts pulling up. Before he can get his hands all the way together, we're gonna throw and go, right here. Now, my back is turned to him, but as long as I have that grip, okay, he cannot take my back because he can't get this hand. For him to take my back, he has to have that hand to come around, right? So it's a really simple um, defense to the um, the double underpass. Now the other one that's very simple, somewhat similar, is especially with the, like the old school traditional stack where he stacks up, reaches across the shoulders and starts doing this. Anytime the person's doing a pass where I can see the armpit, then what I can do is I'll get this grip either back of the gi or a Lego man grip right behind the armpit. And when he's going, I'm gonna kick this leg and try to get up to my elbow and use that leg for momentum. When I say kick the leg, I mean taking this leg and throwing it up so I can get some momentum. And again, we've got that same stiff arm. If Adam drives into me, it actually makes it easier. If there's even a slight bend in the arm, if he starts to drive, I'm gonna lose my position. So try to get the arm locked out. Again, really simple one. He gets underneath, he stacks me up, reaches across as he goes. I'm gonna kick this leg, throw. Try to get up to my elbow. If you find yourself in a position where you're flat, get your arm in line with the body, get up. Scoot out, legs back in front. Very simple defenses to the double under uh, pass. So guys, I was just sharing that with you today because I, one of my guys, I was working on it with him today. And again, we looked at both the stiff arm with the sleeve and the wrist really early and also late where you can see that person's armpit. By the way, in that second one, the armpit like stiff arm, if you can, if anyone ever does a pass where they're reaching across and you can see the back of their armpit, that frame and push against them, that's open. You can do that particular type of escape to uh, get out of there. If again, if you can get up to your elbow, we need to make sure that we're up in this position and not flat. So hopefully that helps some of you guys that get stuck in that pass. I'm finished. Adam? Adam.